Hey there. Well, today I'm sitting out here on the porch and I went and got this book right here because I wanted to do a, a review on it and share a little bit about the book, uh, my thoughts on it. And Paul Paul's In Search of America's Forgotten Fruit, Andrew Moore, forwarded by Michael W. Twitty. This is a good book. I've been reading through it. It's got some good stories inside the book. But the one thing I will tell you in my personal opinion is it's set up more like a textbook in my eyes. Uh, it's got a lot of information. It has an awful lot of history in it. Uh, I'm going to take a look. you got part one, Paul Paul's in history. <clears throat> part two, Paul Paul's to the people. And part three, way down yonder, travels in the Paul Paul Belt. Now, this young man has done an awful lot of research in compiling this book, and I commend him for that. He put a lot of work into this book. And one of the things that I want to sh uh, share with you uh, is his notes that he put into his book. <clears throat> now, when I read through the book, I see numbers beside words beside phrases and stuff and a little number right there and whenever i see numbers like that in a book <clears throat> that usually means that there's a reference uh for that number but however i've always been used to seeing the reference written down at the bottom of the page and they weren't written down at the bottom of the page when i see those numbers that's a note and i had to end up thinking, okay, i got to find where his notes are in this book. And first thing I did is went back to the index, but just prior to the index, I see his notes. So that being said, I came across one particular story that I, I did kind of like, and it's about Daniel Boone. And I'm going to read this to you real quick. Kentucky, of course, was the landscape of Boone's famous adventures. Kentucky rests at the heart of the American pawpaw belt. Of that country, Boone wrote in his autobiography, The Adventures of Colonel Daniel Boone. Nature here was a series of wonders and a fund of delight. Here she displayed her ingenuity and industry in a variety of flowers and fruits, beautifully colored, elegantly shaped, and charmingly flavored. And a number 31. So when I, I see the number 31, I go ahead and I flip back here, and that was chapter 2, by the way. So I'm going to go down into chapter 2, look up number 31. There it is, Daniel Boone, Life and Adventures of Colonel Daniel Boone, the first white settler of the state of Kentucky, Brooklyn. See Wilder, 1823. Now... Just to give you an idea that this, this young man, he, he put some work, he put some thought into all those pages right there is his notes. And throughout the book, as you read, you'll see the numbers. I'm looking at number 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, and they're all listed in order according to that chapter. So, he, like I said, he put a lot of work into it. The... Uh, study that he did he did an extensive study in writing this book this had to have taken him an awful lot of time to study everything out as he went along and i tell you he did a pretty good job of it he's got uh, uh one in here uh johnny paul paul seed in reference to uh, neil peterson and there's another uh story in here called Peterson's Gambit, which was a very interesting uh, thing to see. And part two, he has Paul Paul's to the people. And it's it's a compilation of different stories that he has in here, people that he's spoken with, people that has shared information with him as far as uh, what they uh, know about the Paul Paul, uh, how they grew up around the Paul Paul. And it's a very, very good book. However, 
Me personally, I look at the book more like a textbook, a textbook of uh, information. It doesn't have a whole lot of uh, uh, illustration as far as pictures. It does have a few pictures in here, uh, probably about uh, at the beginning of the last third of the book. <clears throat> and he's in, it even has a... Uh, a chapter 17 Appalachia and uh, a lot of stories in there you probably come across an awful lot of older generation of people that uh, uh, have more information that they could share now the one thing that I did notice in the back of the book uh, just before you get into the notes he does have an, uh, a section uh, for cultivars uh, and uh, a selection of Paul Paul nurseries and he has listed the different nurseries like England's Orchard and Nursery and the cultivars Davis, Overlease, Rebecca's Gold, Havlin's Sidewinder, Summer Delight and others also sells Paul Paul seed from Jerry Lehman's Indiana Breeding Orchard so you got a number of uh, nurseries that have been listed in here that you can make contact with uh, and a couple of them well at least one of them I think it just says uh, let's see here where did I see that yeah, it just sells seedling pawpaws as far as uh, listed but that was pretty interesting to see and acknowledgments in there a bug climbing down my neck but there's a recipe there for Paul Paul ice cream but yeah he's he's put a lot of work into this and I tell you what he was dead serious when he said he wanted to write a book good job Michael or uh, Andrew Moore apologize uh, forwarded by Michael W Twitty but good book a good read a lot of insight to it i would recommend it to anybody that uh, wanted to read the background of the paul paul wanted to study out the background of the paul paul not a bad book get you one and check it out anyways just something i wanted to share with you that's a review the uh when I tried to review the book on YouTube and it kept sending me to some website offering me the ability to purchase a book, well, I've already purchased a book. And uh, it's a good read. My name's Jim. If you like what you see, subscribe. And don't forget to click on that bell for notifications. Y'all have a God-blessed day.